Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, if you've had an Amazon Fire Stick for any length of time, you're probably sick and tired of all of the clutter that's on the home screen of the Fire Stick. You have all of this recommended content and uh, the ads that show along the top of the screen and, you know, sponsored this and recommended this and this and that and all the other stuff that they just try to ram down your throat with uh, content. Well, wouldn't something like this be better? I mean, custom wallpaper, pick any picture you want for a background, nothing but your apps on the screen, no ads, no clutter. If you want something on the screen, it's there. And if you don't want something on the screen, it isn't. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. Way back in November, I first brought you the Wolf Launcher for your Fire Stick and showed you how to install it. A few months later, unfortunately, Amazon made some changes and they stopped it from working. And so what happens is you hit the home button on your remote, or if you restart the Fire Stick, it brings you back to the standard screen of the Fire Stick. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to, once and for all, hopefully, get that back. So it doesn't matter if you hit the home button or you restart your Fire Stick, it'll always come back to this screen that you've customized just the way you want every time. This isn't gonna be the easiest tutorial that I've shared with you here at Cord Cutters LI, but I assure you, if you follow step-by-step, step, you're gonna get there and it's not hard at all. So if you're ready to see how you can get rid of all that clutter and all the ads on your Amazon Fire Stick once and for all, grab your remotes and let's go. The two questions I get asked most by new cord cutters are, do I need a VPN and which VPN is best? The short answer to both of those questions is it depends. If you're someone who takes their privacy seriously and enjoys unofficial streaming apps or torrenting, you should use a VPN to keep your information encrypted and private. The VPN I recommend depends on where you live. If you're here in the U.S. like me, I'd suggest trying IPVanish. It's the fastest and helps minimize buffering. While here in the United States, where nearly everything is available, unblocking content isn't as important. If I were outside the U.S., however, I'd suggest ExpressVPN. I feel it does a better job at un-geoblocking the content available here in the U.S. while you're not. In either case, if you're in the market for a VPN subscription and would like to try either one, you'll find links in the description below for the best price you'll get anywhere. Clicking on these links also helps in a small way to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As I said in the intro, Wolf Launcher is the app that actually has that nice, beautiful screen with the wallpapers that you can select and so on. I've already installed that app on this Fire Stick. This is the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. I'll put a link in the description to the video on how to do that. Um, but again, I'll show you uh, in just a couple of moments how to quickly get to it if you haven't done that already. But before we do that, I need to go ahead and prepare the Fire Stick with a couple of settings here. Let's go into the gear and go down to My Fire TV and then go into Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options, don't worry. Amazon made a change not that long ago and got rid of Developer Options on new Fire Sticks. And, uh, and if you've updated yours, it might have disappeared. I'll put a link to the video I created for that to get you back to Developer Options in no time. So let's go into Developer Options. We may as well go ahead and turn this on right now where it says ADB debugging. Turn that on because we're gonna need that later. But then go down to install unknown apps and go down to where it says downloader and make sure that this says on. If it says off like this, just toggle it back to on and then click the home button. So now let's go ahead and open up downloader. And in the box where it says enter a URL or search term, we're gonna to wanna to put in the short code for the cordcuttersli.com website, which is 893. Six, four, and click go. That's gonna redirect you in just five seconds to cordcuttersli.com. It gives you that moment to make sure that you didn't typo it. Once you get here, go ahead and hit the menu button or the hamburger button on your remote. That's the one with the three lines, two times. That'll set it to full screen mode so it's a little easier to navigate around. Then let's move over to the menu at the top left, those three lines, and click it. Feel free to browse around all these different categories on the website. But what we are interested in today is tutorials, so let's click on that. And in my tutorials page, you're gonna see lots and lots of apps and things that you can install on your Fire Stick or Android TV device. But what we are interested in today is one called Launcher Manager, which is right here, updated July, 2023. Um, as I said earlier, if you don't have Wolf Launcher, that's right down here. So you can click on that if you don't have this yet. You may want to go ahead and do that first. Install Wolf Launcher if you don't already have it. 
but I do. So let's go up to Launcher Manager and click on that. This is the application that's going to allow Wolf Launcher to work. So scroll down all the way to the bottom of the screen where you see where it says Launcher Manager and at the right side of the screen, it says download and click on that. It's a pretty small app. It's going to install pretty quickly. So click install. When that gets finished, click done. Don't click open just yet. This gives us a chance to delete that application file because we don't need it. So click delete and then move over, click delete again. Now let's click home. We probably should put Launcher Manager on top of this screen on the favorites bar here because we're going to need it once or twice more. So the easiest way to do that is hold in the home button on your remote and then go to apps. The last app installed is always at the bottom of your list. So let's move to the left to get down there. You'll see the gear icon. That's Launcher Manager. Click the menu button and then hit move to front. And then you can hit home. Okay, so there's Launcher Manager. So now let's go ahead and open it up. Most of the settings we're going to play with are on the right side of the screen. So let me move myself over here. And the first thing we want to do is go into Launcher Options. And scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Custom Launcher Options and click on that. Again, we've already installed Wolf Launcher and this is the one that we're going to pick. So if you pick Active Launcher, it lets you select the launcher. If you don't have Wolf Launcher, you want to try a different one, go ahead. It doesn't matter. This will work with all of your different launchers. But down towards the bottom of the list, you'll see Wolf Launcher and we're going to pick it. And then just above that, where it says LM Handler Status, you want to change this from inactive to active. Good. Now let's move back and let's go back into Launcher Options. We're going to skip past where it says old method and go down to where it says new method and select home button hook. Here you'll click on home button hook again. As you notice there, it quickly brought you back out to the home screen for a moment and then brings you right back into launcher manager. So let's go ahead and go back into that. And now when we go down to home button hook, we can click on it and click on home button hook again. And now it will change it to on. And then move down to where it says use ADB for home and select that and change that to on. If you're still with me, put a let's go in the comments down below and let's continue. So a couple more settings. Let's go down to where it says other settings. We need to prevent the fire stick from sleeping because when that happens, that kind of undoes this setting that we're going to set in a moment. So let's go into screensaver and go down to where it says sleep timeout. I've already set mine to zero, but the default I believe is 20. So you can go in there and whatever it is, if it's not zero, click clear and then go up to where it says zero and hit next. So that sets the timeout to zero, meaning it's never going to go to sleep. Okay, so now the most important setting of all, this is the one that makes that home button. It makes it when you restart the fire stick, it'll go right back to this launcher that we want. And it's unfortunately a quite a long ADB command. To enter this command that we're about to do, I would strongly recommend installing the Fire TV app on your Android phone or iPhone. Um, or you can use a, an external keyboard, or, you know, a wireless keyboard or whatever. When you see the command, you'll know what I mean. So go into ADB commands. And at the top right, you're going to want to pick plus because you want to enter a new command. You can label it anything you want. I'm just going to name it ABC. It really doesn't matter. Now the next, and this is the most critical command. I'll put the long command right down here at the bottom of the screen, but I've also put the command on that launcher manager tutorials page right below the download. You'll see it here. With your Fire TV app, you can just go ahead and copy paste it. And that's what I'm going to do. Once that's pasted in there, go ahead and click next. It's going to show you the command. Again, it's a very long command. You do not want to make a mistake when you enter this because it could give you some very unpredictable results. So double and triple check this before you proceed. Where it says execute on boot, you want to make sure that that box is checked. 
and then click Save. And that's it. Now, when you hit the Home button, it brings you right back to our Wolf Launcher. And if we restart the Fire Stick, you will see that it will come right up to the Wolf Launcher page. I have noticed that every so often it will come up to the regular Fire Stick page for a brief moment, but then if it does do that, it will bring you to the Wolf Launcher page right after that. So here we are, just give it a moment. And there we go. No more ads, no more bloat, no more cluttered up page with all the different promotions and recommended content and so on. You have your apps, you have your wallpaper, anything you want on your screen, it's there. If you don't want it, it's not. So there you go. Wolf Launcher is fixed for your Amazon Fire Stick. If you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Alive videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.